there are plenty of paid courses coachings which can conveniently make you prepare for gait but there is not a single organized video which just arrange everything for gait ece aspirants to prepare freely so i thought to make one such video is it possible to crack gait by just self study yes it is possible to prepare completely free and i will explain how there will be no money spent in your preparation all you will require to buy a test series to test your preparation before that i want to honestly explain the trade off which will come with free preparation and that is time the extra time required because there is so much and more than required free material available online when you join some coaching it just gives you everything arranged from lectures chapter wise numerical subject wise test series notes and even revision short notes and that is the comfort you get when you take some course or paid coaching in fact you should take a paid coaching only if you have less than a year for your gait preparation gait preparation using paid courses may have only one disadvantage like when students gets everything arranged he is just study that solve numerical and gets the rank well that's enough for cracking gait but such students are not well versed with deep engineering knowledge hence self study and coaching study both have advantages and trade offs let us say a student have one plus year of time provided 8 hours daily then I would rather say that it is very much possible to prepare for gait freely using free resources available online. So means you can be either in first to fifth semester of your B Tech, and you can easily prepare for gait at zero cost. You have to buy just one test series. All you would require to have passion, discipline, self confidence, and patience. And this video is certainly going to ease your gait journey because video would explain to. filter out the best free content how to get ahead chapter by chapter and subject by subject where to find numericals how to solve them how to clear doubts eventually the revision strategy and giving the series cracking the gate with best possible rank so guys let's just do it first let us briefly analyze the syllabus as you can see there are total 8 technical subjects which carry 85 marks and along with that there are 15 marks general aptitude questions those 85 marks are covered by 55 technical questions and 15 ga marks consist of 10 questions leading to total 65 questions of 100 marks we need to make a strategy to prepare them and for that i am carefully dividing these subjects into three levels you can see the classification on to your screen and this classification is not done randomly there is a reason for it so let us shift our entire focus to level 1.1 first these are simple electronic subjects which are easy to understand and that is why i had put them on to very first level if i talk about weights then usually network theory signal and systems digital electronics carry 8 to 10 marks each control systems for 6 to 8 marks and edc for 9 to 12 marks that makes level 1.1 worth of 39 to 50 marks trust me there are so many free resources available you just need to filter out the best content for yourself so at very first i will be suggesting you the way to find out the content i will also suggest nptel courses or nptel alternative for the same for each subject and if you are able to understand professors and want deep knowledge then nptel is best but the pace of nptel lectures is usually very slow and boring so all the dedication must come from inside you to complete nptel course matlab aapko khud se hi bahut dedicated rehna padega otherwise aap bore ho jayenge aur fir continue nahi kar payenge I will pick network theory as base subject and will explain how to learn freely taking you to the YouTube and first we will see non NPTEL courses so just search network theory full playlist and let us see how many courses are there and what topics they cover courses from Dhande sir Ankit Goel sir and few other names such as Nisho Academy are there now it will create a lot of confusion in your mind hence at first you need to check how much syllabus each one cover 
एंड टीचिंग स्टाइल यू लाइक सो एक दो लेक्चर्स देखो सब में के एंड देन डिसाइड द प्लेलिस्ट बेस्ड ऑन योर इंटरेस्ट एंड विच हैव मोस्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक्स अवेलेबल वंस यू डिसाइड द पर्टिकुलर प्लेलिस्ट यू जस्ट नीड टू वॉच दैट ओनली रिलीजियसली वेन द डिसाइडेड प्ले लिस्ट इज कम्प्लीट You need to cross check Git syllabus and check if some topic is missed or not. Note down the left out topics and search those topics on YouTube and cover them from some other creator of your choice. Make sure to complete everything. Like basics to sab ke complete hone chahiye. Isliye aapko har ek topic cover karna hai. I can understand little bit more time would be required to do all this and that is why I say to go for self study and free preparation only if you have one plus year of time and you can devote eight plus hours. hours for preparation daily if you are devoting 4 hours on consistent basis then the required time would be automatically 2 plus years now let's go to nptel version of free learning so i would suggest to go with nptel preparation if you are capable enough to learn on slow pace and 1.5 plus years of time is there assuming 8 hours daily because nptel would be a slow learning but your knowledge would be exceptional to iska course dhoondne ke liye search network theory nptel playlist watch one lecture from two or three playlist and see which professor is able to explain you in the best way choose that playlist follow the professor don't do mistake of jumping here and there for a single subject like ye topic yahan se pad lete hain wo wahan se pad lete hain chahe aap nptel wale raste se ja rahe hain ya non nptel wale raste se but ek jagah decide ho ke usi jagah se hi padhiye usually nptel would cover more than as required in gate so take an eye on gate syllabus and leave the extra topics the topics which are not in the syllabus just leave them and that would be your smart work for example in this playlist graph theory is there laplace transform and all is there which you would also study in signal and system you can avoid studying same thing on two different subjects that is why always keep an eye on gate syllabus so that you can easily eliminate the not required topics from nptel playlist i will add all links in description for all the subjects including nptel and my personal favorite would be on number 1 just visit the description you will find each and every link i hope i am able to explain you the method to extract the best lectures but only watching lectures won't cover the subject fully there are two more things associated with this first one is to take the notes it is highly recommended from my side to make the notes second important thing is to solve questions related to the topic immediately just give google search and you will get the chapter wise pdfs of each and every subject if you can afford to buy the chapter wise dpps then that would also work so by doing all this you will be completing all subjects of level 1.1 at very first please make sure to solve numericals on each and every topic because competitive exam mein kabhi easy question nahi chhodna chahiye इसीलिए सबके बेसिक्स पते होने जरूरी हैं। लेवल 1.2 पॉइंट टू हैव सब्जेक्ट लाइक इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स एंड जनरल एप्टीट्यूड जी ए हैव फिक्स वेटेज ऑफ 15 मार्क्स एंड इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स यूजुअली कंसिस्ट ऑफ 12 टू 15 मार्क्स दीज सब्जेक्ट्स आर यूजुअली फन फॉर इंजीनियर्स or i can say the way to fresh mood so you have to start them parallel with level 1.1 and cover them slowly like once you are bored with technical subjects ek ghanta engineering mathematics ko de diya agle din bored again to ek ghanta general aptitude ko de diya like this you will complete the level 1.1 and level 1.2 including numerical solving the total seven subjects are there in level 1 and on average each subject requires 200 hours of dedicated study summed up to 1400 hours to complete these seven subjects this includes watching the lectures solving chapter wise numericals and making notes now let us shift to level 2 analog electronics communication and emft these are slightly tougher and requires basics from level 1.1 that is why I start level 2 when you are done with level 1.1 again same way to find out the best course watching lectures cover the topic by separate search if not available in your chosen free playlist and finally solving the chapter wise numericals communication and emft are advanced ec course so it would require 250 hours of study each and analog electronics can be completed into 180 hours so our total sum of dedicated study hours goes to 1400 plus 500 plus 180 up to this we are done with academics humne sab kuch ek bari padh liya hai now we are ready to revise solving previous years and so on but wait this process should not be sequential we started level 1.1 and level 1.2 in parallel we shifted to level 2 subjects after level 1 but during level 2 advanced subjects you will get frustrated because that's what the competitive exam preparation is sometimes you will not be able to solve questions leading to demotivation 
एंड टाइम वेस्ट और टाइम वेस्ट बिल्कुल भी अलाउ नहीं है कंसिस्टेंसी इज द की टू टॉप एनी कम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम दैट इज वाई वी विल डू अ ट्रिक हियर यू विल स्टार्ट लेवल टू यू विल सॉल्व इजी क्वेश्चन एंड टफ क्वेश्चन डेली सो डेट सम सॉर्ट ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस इज देयर बिकॉज इजी वाले तो आपसे सॉल्व ही हो जाएंगे बिलीव मी जस्ट आफ्टर सम टाइम यू विल बी सॉल्विंग एनी न्यूमेरिकल विद ईज ऑल यू नीड टू डू is to watch the lecture with full concentration still story is not complete because along with level 2 you will start cyclic revision of level 1.1 and 1.2 subjects let us say give 2 hours daily or full day a week for already completed subjects to revise them during this cyclic revision you will not just read the long notes solve few problems and take short notes Please take short notes now only because it would be saving a lot of time for you. So there are seven level one subjects and sixteen hours two days for each subject revision. That sums up to sixteen into seven equal to one one two hours. Hence level two and cyclic revision of level one subject is completed. Now download the previous ten year papers. It is very important to understand the kind of questions IITs frames. they just test your aptitude and to make sure that you clear the gate with 60 plus marks just solve previous 10 years paper by the test series as well because usually all the test series provides previous 10 year papers chapter wise numericals and all those things you can solve those papers real time and check your marks in parallel do cyclic revision of level 2 subjects and take short notes so jab bhi aap previous year ke question solve kar rahe hain usi time pe aapko parallel mein jo level 2 ke subjects the unka revision karna hai kyunki level 1 ka to aapne kar liya tha aur level 2 ka nahi hua tha now some guys will solve the previous year paper check their marks and move ahead and that is the biggest blunder during any exam preparation solving previous year papers giving test series would cost you 3 hours but after that you have to analyze your test paper note the mistake 9 hours are usually required for beginners to do proper analysis hence 12 hours for one previous year paper which amount to 120 hours for 10 papers you also made short notes and cyclic revision of level 2 subjects that would cost around 20 into 3 60 hours you have come this long watching the video that's great and looks like you are interested enough in gate preparation so if you like the content then just hit a like button now let's shift the gear to test series start with subject wise test and complete all it would help to revise again take help of long notes during this one more thing to add if you wish then you can start chapter wise test series after completing level 1 only that would also help you to revise so it is all together your choice when to start subject wise test matlab aap level 1 aur level 2 ke jab subject kar rahe the us time pe bhi aap parallel mein start kar sakte the ya abhi aapne sab kuch pad liya hai previous year de diye hain uske baad bhi aap revision ke purpose se start कर सकते हैं और पहले भी आप साइकिल रिविजन के टाइम पे भी स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं आई एम गिविंग 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव मंथ थ्री सिक्सटी आवर्स मिनिमम फॉर टेस्ट सीरीज कंप्लीशन एंड एनालाइजिंग दी सेम आई वुड अगेन पॉइंट आउट डेट प्लीज प्लीज एनालाइज ईच एंड एवरी टेस्ट दिस वुड जस्ट बूस्ट यूर मार्क्स help you identify silly mistakes and score big in gate exam i believe after doing all this there must be minimum 100 hours gap between you and the gate exam during this you will revise the subjects using short notes read your test series analysis and you may give one or two test again don't give any test series exam a day before gate exam one day before gate exam just be relaxed have faith on your preparation if you really did this much and followed the road map then you will be doing really really good in your gate exam so if i sum up everything level 1 consist of 1400 hours level 2 consist of 680 hours level 1 revision 112 hours level 2 revision 60 hours previous year paper plus analysis 120 hours test series plus analysis 360 hours final revision plus recalling mistakes 100 hours it is 2832 hours amounting to 354 days if given 8 hours daily i have added flexible timings if you are disciplined enough then you will be able to do it in 320 days also which amounts to around 1 year of serious preparation but a student have to go classes labs during btech that is why it is recommended to start in fourth semester to conveniently complete your gate preparation that's it for the video i hope this will certainly help you out If something is left or any doubt then add the comment I will reply with the best of my knowledge